Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be discussing block pattern. So what is block pattern? Block pattern is a way to or, uh, manage the states in a Flutter app or it could be this is a pattern so it doesn't have to be a Flutter app. It could be used in different uh, technologies as well. So what this whole uh, thing is, so as you can see this is a business logic component as it says um, BLOC uh, B is for business, L O means logic and C is component as you see. So what it, it is is just the event. So it's the way the events and states are managed in a um, in an app. So what happens like the every interaction we do on a screen is called an event and there is a logic that happens on those events. There is a business uh, logic or uh, we uh, in case we want a certain thing to happen uh, on that given events and, and there's a state and uh, our app end up in a particular state when we uh, interact with it uh, with an app. So what it is it's like an event the interactions we do with on the screen uh, on a user interface and it, uh, depending on what interaction are we doing what events we are sending our app is in a particular state based on uh, some logic. So that's what it is all about. So we have events and some logic based on that logic we have some states. It's very simple uh, pattern uh, to understand. So what happens in that in this component in the middle? So we know we have events, we know there are states, but what happened in the middle? Let's see a uh, in internal view of that. So in here, I have enlarged it here in the middle block. So there are, so block pattern it could be implemented using streams. So there are two streams, streams um, like one stream is taking the events and another stream which is in blue is taking the uh, is, is, is for managing the states. So again we have two streams one is for managing the events incoming events and another stream is for managing the state. So what happens like at the beginning so first thing happens we have events like we interacted with the screen uh, interface we clicked on a button we did some uh, drag uh, a, a gesture and it's recognized and it's that event is sent to the uh, stream uh, event stream and what is the stream controller and uh, our uh, so stream con uh, control is nothing but a manager a manage uh, it's for managing that particular stream so uh, for event stream is managed using a stream controller and this is a blue so that's what i put it so stream controller is a class and event i put it for identifying these uh, two different um, controllers stream controllers so in the first event uh, so first in the first stream um, the sync sync is the one how we put the uh, something inside a stream in an event in a stream and the stream part of this is like which comes out of a stream and this uh, is a stream controller is the one which manages this whole mechanism so when we interact with a screen, uh, the event is being put into the sync. So that's what happened first. Now, second thing is what happens. So whatever those, those stream controller takes the event using sync and now uh, output it in, in a stream. So this is the second step. And what it's outputting outside is the event, what it's been receiving one by one. Now there is a, this logic like a business logic here so mapping events to a state so we give a set of rules like what happens uh, if this particular event happened and it converts that event to an state and so that state comes out for each event and what happens this state is being put in the sync of another stream uh, using the stream controller for state uh, and it's been put in here and then it's been delivered out to the uh, interface uh, in a stream as well as number five it happens. So number six is the state is available for the app to render or rebuild that interface. So let's see how it happens in our default counter app. So uh, this event, uh, so right now this uh, you might have seen this app a lot of time. Uh, I, I put this app for uh, on purpose because it's simple and everyone um, and it's a default app and pretty much everyone have seen this app at one point or another. So what this app does is when you click this counter the plus it actually changes this counter value here. 
So, so what is the interaction point here is interaction point is here is this plus button. So, if I put this plus F baby floating action button, my I am sending my event to the uh, my event uh, stream, the sync of event stream, uh, stream right here. And is so that is what happens with the uh, interface interaction as far as the inter interaction with the screen, uh, int uh, sorry the interface part is concerned. Now the internal things happen. So this event came is, uh, that says, okay, increment my uh, uh, number by one. And the state of this number was zero before. Uh, I haven't shown that. I'm showing it like for like, uh, I clicked it and the output, the state of this um, number changed from zero to one. So in here, it all, everything I'm doing here is an event and whatever is coming here is a state. So a state here is um, just the integer. So I'm just calling the state of this uh, 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 screen is one or is an integer number. So we put this event here uh, in the sync and the stream was sent it to the mapping based on some rules that we'll see in a bit what happens under the hood and it converted into a state which is a one here and it's sent to the sync for the state stream and the stream delivered to the state and it went back on rebuilding is this little component right here to the new state which is one. So now let's see how these numbers are uh, like number of the steps are mapped in the code uh, in the implementation. All right, uh, we are here. Um, so here I have a side by side comparison. I have the same uh, image what we just saw. And here is my the implementation of my this Flutter app, which is a counter app. And uh, uh, so it, it's a very simple uh, just to go quickly over. This is the entry point and my app. So this is the app you get when you default, create a default app in uh, uh, Flutter. And the themes and the whole is a stateful widget. Uh, so it has a stateless widget at the app level and then has a stateful widget. And I will close this thing so that we can focus on the uh, on the real thing what's happening. So everything is happening in here in the my uh, underscore my homepage state class right here. So the first thing what we do is like we have the uh, Okay, so right now the first thing is happening is the I need to get the instance of my this block right here, right? And the first thing is we are putting, we are clicking on the F, uh, the floating action button, the increment counter. Uh, so we are sending an event to, um, to so that to put uh, my event of increment into the sync. So what is, so I have used counter event to represent that which is, is just enum in this case so it doesn't have to be enum it could be a class if for complex applications but in here is just a um, e increment event that's why i'm just using increment as in uh, enum and for the state i'm just using a counter uh, because it's a uh, the state of the app is just integer but again that uh, could have been a counter state class as well to represent the counter for example, like this, it could it could have been so. Usually, in the bigger apps, in the production app, it, we usually use a different state class. But in here, it's just integer, so I'm just using the int for the state of my counter at a given point of time. All right. So going back to it, so number one, what happens? Events added are being added to the event controller sync right here. So before that happened, we set up our streams in our block. So this is our counter block. And as we said, this is a state, the initial state of the counter is zero. And we have two stream controllers. One is for event and one is for state. So this is for the state controller, which is uh, taking the uh, input as a integer. So state of this uh, stream controller is int. That's what it is. And the sync, so this for, to represent the sync is a state sync, which is we can get on calling the dot sync on the state controller. So, and for the stream part of this is, is right here, that is a counter, actually um, the state of this thing is a counter and how we can get the stream is calling the dot stream on our state, contro uh, state controller, stream controller for the state. So this is how we set it up the state 
stream now the event stream sorry my order is reversed in here but uh, it, it doesn't matter really so as far as you keep them together and you understand uh, there are three parts of a stream um, um, setting up a stream the stream controller a sync and a stream so uh, a managing uh, some ma way to manage a stream and sync uh, part of it and some way to give out to the external world uh, out of this block okay so the next is the stream controller for event which is an event controller stream controller and what it's taking is what type of events it will be taking is a counter event uh, and uh, so now the event sync is uh, can be used as dot event controller dot sync and for stream it could be uh, used at like a stream controller dot stream so this thing can be uh, accessed using the stream controller dot stream so what happens like when we start the app uh, or when the app like sorry when we click the uh, so this is my android app here like when i click this button what happens so and the beginning with um it the my uh, i put my uh, events into the sync right so uh, in here so uh, in floating action button is the one which initiates the events uh, being sent to the event sync so i do it underscore block dot event sync uh, to access this part of it and then add my uh, increment counter which is a counter event dot increment to it i say okay this is my event so please go ahead and increase my uh, counter by one that's what i'm sending my uh, first increment counter now what happens now i need to have a stream right so in the counter block what it does is it gets this controller dot stream and listen to it for the events which are coming in which are these are the event is coming in and then what it does it gets the stream and takes the event so this yellow part event is this event here right here and it's being sent to mapping event to state so here is literally a method a private method we created uh, internal method which is starts with underscore we don't have a private uh, keyword here in dart so underscore map event to state right here and my event is counter event is passed to this method this lot this um, little uh, logic magic box right here and what it does is so when my event is an increment i define the rule increment my state uh, so uh, the state of my counter will be plus one so increment my counter and since my counter is a state of my um, event so is a state of my interface uh, once my button is clicked so i increase the state so in this case i just did counter plus plus but in regular cases it, uh, the state has to be created uh, uh, for the uh, for that given event um, so uh, and then once my state counter is available to me uh, like it right here i'm in here in this state i put this one in the sync of my state stream controller so i get my state sync and i call dot add and i put my state into this sync so that's the step number four now step number five is the stream which gives out the uh, 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 which gives access to the stream so what is that one is is right here so this is um, uh, the way to uh, get access to my uh, my, my this uh, external stream uh, the going out out where uh, streams how that's how the, st uh, the states are going out uh, from that uh, stream uh, to the interface now the number six what happens is rebuilds the interface so what happens is it goes back to our where my uh, text uh, where my this little counter is being updated so where it's updated in my app right here so uh, i use something called stream builder to listen to this stream because i cannot listen to it just like that i have to have reference like where is this is coming from so i uh, we can use something called stream builder uh, for listening to the streams and building the uh, component in inside later so how this works is we have a stream builder we have give stream to it so in this case this is a block a counter so this block counter is the one the stream we got number five this is number five and uh, then we went to number six right here and we gave the counter as uh, the stream 
uh, the number if this stream and then the initial data uh, for the state was the zero or the initial state and the builder method takes the snapshot like what it's uh, what the event uh, sorry what state is being emitted right now from this uh, at number six so in this case what happened for this we added increment and it went all the way in and what the state became plus one counter plus one so it was zero to start with so it became one so this is my state so this is what it becomes uh, one and this is being reflected to my uh, up here right now it's one so now if you see again um, what happens is like I'm pressing this one more button so it takes the events event increment it went in here and um, it incremented the counter so right here so again I'm just reiterating what we just said nothing new there so when I clicked on it the first thing happened was I added the counter like okay increment one and then it went inside and here it, the my event controller stream is listening it was started listening on it what the event is coming in and then it sent to it like okay if the event is increment counter plus one so it became two then it added it to the state sync right here and once it's added it's available at the stream of this state controller right here and the last thing happened it built this it sent the data over to this component to rebuild itself and the so we uh, wrap this uh, text widget into the stream builder and got the stream uh, state stream uh, here using the block under dot counter and we updated the data so that's how it uh, the block pattern works and there is another library you can use uh, it's called flutter block to uh, to help with this uh, boilerplate code so you don't have to create your own streams and uh, it is managing the stuff so that something could be uh, used in the uh, bigger apps but uh, in this video I wanted to show you the what happens under the hood like how the things works in the block pattern and the, how the stream builder could be used to rebuild the interface uh, by listening on the stream so that's it for this uh, video I hope you like this video in case um, you have any question and concern please leave the comment and if you like this video please share and like this video and I will see you in the next video thank you